I am wearing green to protest against the fact that we don't have a full lettuce transfer. <laughs> I'm just joking. Token Me and You episode 6 was the best thing ever. I cannot even complain about the lack of a lettuce transformation. Even lettuce rocked in this episode. This was everything. Hello everyone, it's Lel, and in this video we are going to talk about episode 6 from Token Me and You. My favorite episode so far. What a great moment this was. Episode 5 was already awesome, the growth in Mint's character was super well done, and I feel like everything culminated in episode 6. Everything that happened in episode 5 made episode 6 make sense. Super, super, super good. We start the episode with the girls on the TV station, lots of great and funny scenes, pudding, I love you so much. You are everything. You know, the way she just led the comedy moments at that start, it was so good. And Lettuce rocking the celebrity style. Oh my god, that was so cool, but that was so funny as well. Like, that, that was the best thing ever. The, that scene was so good. And, like, the, the reaction of each girl, especially Mint's reactions, they were so priceless. I feel like they have already worked with those four so well that their dynamic works very well. It just works super, super well. It's simple, but it just works. And uh, we get like those very funny scenes and then they find a way to sneak into the studio with those very nice kind of like idol costumes. That was super cool, each in their own colors. Like, I'm very sorry that it was very fast and we couldn't see more of those costumes. They should wear that more because it looked so good. Like each of the girls had uh, her own style, her own different costume. It was not all the same. So like, girl, awesome. But then I feel like we get to the real soul of this episode. They've been to those, they, they went to that TV station to protect Zakuro and try to talk her into joining the team. That was the initial plan. But Mint noticed something else about Zakuro that she was not noticing before. And this time she really wanted to uh, protect the real Zakuro and not make her join the team uh, because they just want to. And I really loved that first confrontation they had. You could see Mint was holding back and she was not really wanting to interact with Zakuro at first, but then she just stepped up and started talking to her and started, you know, sharing uh, that uh, you do you, you sing and you focus on your art. We are going to do the fighting. We, we don't need your help as Mew Mews. Like that was what she was trying to say. Like, Focus on what's important for you. I loved that because that is something that Mint realized in episode 5. She realized that she was putting her own feelings first because she admired Zakuro, so she wanted Zakuro to fight with her. And so, since they're both Mews, she wanted Zakuro to be with her. But what Zakuro really wants is to surpass herself in her own craft, in her own art, and she wants to be the best in what she's doing. And uh, that's what she wants to do is not to be a Mew. She wants to be the best artist. She wants to keep on surpassing her own abilities. And for her to do that, Mint abdicated from her own wishes so that Zakuro could keep on improving herself. And I feel like that's true love. When you love someone this much, you forget your wishes and you do everything you can to help the other person to achieve what they want to do. That was so beautiful. It was a very short dialogue, but it meant so much. I loved it. And then we get a little bit of confusion from the girls and from Zakuro. They don't understand why Mint is not pleading for Zakuro to join the team again. They don't understand Mint yet. And uh, this is part of Mint's journey. This is not part of the other girl's journey. And then we get lots of other funny scenes with Lettuce finding a group of zombies, booting, crashing a magician number on stage. Oh my god, I love booting so much. She brings the energy up every time she is on screen. I love that about her so much. And then uh, we get a scene between Ichigo and Zakuro, and I really loved that because 
Zakuro asks Ichigo, why are you fighting? Is there a reason for you to fight? Because uh, Zakuro's philosophy so far, like in Zakuro's philosophy, everything kind of has a reason. And uh, like she does her own things for her own reasons. And she asks Ichigo if she has a reason for joining the Mew Mews. And Ichigo says that she is saving the world. And like saving the world is a big thing. So can you do that by yourself? Like that's what Zakuro was thinking. And Ichigo like clearly answered, maybe not by myself, but I have a team. I have friends with me. And it was very cool that she mentioned like something nice about each of the girls because it, you, you can really feel that now that the four girls have been together for a little while, they see each other, they understand each other, and they trust each other. It's been a little time, but like everything that's happened to Lettuce before she joined the Muse, like it's clear that now she's attached to those girls. Ichigo is very friendly towards everybody. Pudding just wants to have fun, but she is also uh, worried about each of the girls as well. That's why she transformed in the first place. And Mint is doing it uh, to surpass herself. Right now she's doing it to surpass herself as well. She's working very hard as a Mew. But you can really see that she warmed up to the girls as well in the last episode. So just, just, oh my god, so good, so good. And then uh, we see Zakuro rehearsing, and it's very nice because I thought that they were going to keep on using the same song, because, like, really? Like, episode 4 had a song, and now we have another song in episode 6 already. Oh my god, I think this is amazing. <laughs> Zakuro's getting lots of different songs, and Zakuro couldn't even finish the performance because she was thinking about Mint and how her attitude changed now compared to how she was when they first met. And uh, that was resonating with her somehow, but she was not understanding what Mint was trying to do. And when it came to the real performance, Mint was the first one to get there and uh, to try and protect her. So uh, we have Kishu. Kishu all, also great, very scary and threatening and like he really likes to tease the girls. I think that in this episode he was a little tamer <laughs> compared to the last episodes and he was not really playing much with Ichigo, but he was still, you know, being a scary villain that I love to hate. And uh, then uh, we have Mint protecting Zakuro and the song started and uh, like a big battle began while Zakuro was performing. One of the greatest things about that scene, like, there was one of the greatest things is the, is the song, because the song is very good. But I feel like there is another thing that I really loved about that, which was uh, Mint's words to Zakuro. Mint explained herself. She said that she uh, really wants Zakuro to keep on doing her thing because that thing that she does inspires other people and she knows that because she's one of them. I loved that moment. And then she just starts fighting while Zakuro starts singing. Girl, that was so good! And then the other girls join her. I love those little moments because I really like when we're able to see magical girls fighting outside of stock footage. If you're a Precure fan, this is very common in Precure, but outside of Precure, when you get to magical girls in general, outside of Precure, and like when you get to shoujo magical girls, that is not very common. So every time it happens, I get very excited. I'm obviously not talking about shows like Madoka or Symphogear because they are like in a different league of magical girls, but I mean, they're still magical girls, but they're very different from a show like Tokyo Mew and I love when that happens. And this episode was so good because, like, we have those cool shots of the girls fighting, Lettuce fighting, uh, and the water was green this time, girl, I love it! <laughs> and Putin was fighting too, but the main thing was Mint, because Mint was really wanting to surpass her own powers and to become stronger so that she could protect Zakuro. And, I mean, that works for Mint as a character as a whole. She wants to become uh, stronger in every aspect of her life for her to be respected by her family because her family sees her as a child and also as a muse so that she could protect Zakuro at that moment and all the other moments. Like She grew stronger in episode 5 because she wanted to protect her dog and now she wants to protect her idol. 
the one she admires the most. And uh, just great. And that resonated with Zakuro a lot too. Because that is what Zakuro is trying to do. She is trying to become strong. So I feel like when Zakuro saw that she could use the Mew Mew, uh, the Mew, Mew thing as something for her to become stronger, she's like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this to enhance myself. And in episode 4, we had Zakuro transforming, but the transformation was not full. And now when I look back, I just say, thank you, <laughs> that it was not full. Because it, it worked so well, having the full transformation in this episode for the first time, the impact was on another level. And the transformation was so beautiful. Wow, I loved the transformation. It was really, really iconic. And I also loved, after the transformation, after the, 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 the pose, I love the pose too, very cool. After the pose, we have her fighting. We have Mew Zakuro fighting. And I love that uh, she is able to use thunder as a power. It's just not a, a lace, a purple ribbon. You know, you, she can use thunder and that was so cool because, you, you know, we had like thunder mixed with a, this purple ribbon that she uses. So nice. And uh, we were also able to see the Bon Zakuro Spear. Girl, that was so amazing. What was that? Zakuro, you killed it. You really rocked it. I loved it. What a great, great, great moment in this show. Girl, that was everything. And uh, then we have that iconic moment of the Mew Mews uh, being broadcasted on live television. And then uh, very, very funny moments. But then what really matters is Mew Ichigo introducing the whole team to TV. And now they're officially called Tokyo Mew Mew because Ichigo gave them this name. Ichigo gave the group this name. And uh, that is something I also adore <laughs> about this scene. It was good, 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 good. And I love the, the little thing that she does with her hands before doing the pose, everybody's poses. They were super cute. And uh, then we get to the last moment, which was Zakuro actually joining them. I loved uh, Mint's attitude at that moment, thanking Zakuro for joining them in that specific fight and helping them. Um, and then we see that Zakuro actually wants to join now. And she's like, you better not treat me as a rookie. I'm the youngest one in terms of powers. I'm the last one to awaken my powers, but I'm not a rookie. I'm going to show you I have what it takes. That was so cool. And you know, the moment of the girls embracing her. Oh my god, that was so cute! And Wade Latchus said to Mint, like, Mint, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> what a cute moment! This show is just everything. This episode is my favorite Tokimimu episode now. It's just my absolute fave. I had a blast in every second. And there are other two things that I have to mention. The first one is the soundtrack, which is a killer. I love the soundtrack of the show. And the second one is that visually, this episode looked fierce. And, you know, it just looked cool and so good. Like, I think in animation, uh, in the animation aspect, this one was the best. Episode 6, I love you with all my heart. What a great episode. What a great moment this was. Anyways, this was my opinion on episode 6 from Tokyo Mimi Mew. How did you feel about it? As I said, loved it. Perfect, flawless. Anyways, babies, just want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinema channel. If you are a member, thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you've watched up to now, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.